Hey everyone, today we're gonna check out a new beta feature that clay.com has just released that is probably one of my favorite features that has been released in a pretty long time. This feature is called Clayjin at this point. We might change the name, who knows. And so uh, what this does is it uses AI and some magic on the back end that uh, the engineer Adam on the team has created and it can do research for you uh, on your accounts, or I haven't tried it on people yet, but I, definitely on accounts. And I'm going to dive into some of the research that I've been doing. And so this is our table. So again, it's in beta. It's this right here, Clayjin. Again, in beta, you got to be a Clay customer, and then you got to request to be able to use this. But so far, the results are excellent. What you can basically do is you can ask for real time data about these companies by talking to the Clayjin. Uh, and so here I've asked, I think like over 10 questions and we're going to go through all of them. And so here we are checking if this company is hiring. No crazy prompt, by the way. A lot of people, they're like, oh, what's the prompt that you put into your AI prompts? This is not a crazy prompt here, people. And I could just improve this prompt to get a better answer. Is this company hiring for new people? If so, what people are they hiring for? Salesforce. Yes, they're hiring for various roles. They're hiring for a Salesforce admin, developer, Salesforce consultant, architect, business analyst, designer, blah, blah, blah. Brex. Yes, Brex is hiring for various positions. Great. So these are software companies over here. Let's try uh, director consumer customers, cust companies. Uh, Jim Shark is hiring. And we have the links that they're hiring for. Yep. And so we could scrape this if we wanted. This is totally fine. Is Liquid Death hiring? Yep, they're hiring for various positions and it's on ZipRecruiter and their careers page. And so here we have the various positions that they're hiring for. Uh, is Carlos Baker hiring? Yes, they're currently hiring for bakers, cake decorators, sales and support staff. And so if we go and we check on this, this is from Carlos Bakery Careers. Let's check it out. Looking for a career. What are they hiring for? Join the familia. That's so funny apply here. What are they hiring for? Job openings. Let's see. These might be on ZipRecruiter or something. Hmm. Yeah, these might be on ZipRecruiter. And that's just how I found it. That's interesting. Okay. And so let's check ENA Gymnastics. This is my first job that I ever worked at. And they are hiring for teachers, classes, teams, and parties. Yep, that makes sense. This is a pharmaceutical manufacturing company. Yep, they're hiring for new people. And then this is owler.com. Yep, they're hiring for new people. Awesome. And so then we can do things like finding the most recent blog. What is the URL of the most recent blog on this website? So we go check clay.com. This is a recent blog. Excellent. That's I wrote that blog. Well, with Mishti's help. This is security. Okay, this is interesting. More towards the next generation of XNU memory safety. Great, that's a blog. Uh, let's see, fundraising. Walmart raised funds in 2023. Yeah, well, with an IPO, yeah, it's different. Gymshark, May 14, 2022, with a, with a private equity round. Let's see, gone July 1st, 2022, according to Crunchbase, excellent. And see how the total tokens used? I'm using GPT 3.5 for all of this. And so, this is costing like 0 0.006 cents. So this is like half a penny to find this information. Imagine querying this from, you know, a data provider. Let's check if they have CSV mentions on their website. Yes, Rippling mentioned CSV. Walmart mentioned CSV imports. Twilio mentioned CSV imports. Apple does not. These companies do not. Owler does. This makes sense because these are all like Red Bull's not going to mention that. That's awesome. All right, competitors. And so we can build a list of competitors. So to Salesforce, Microsoft 365, Zoho Singer, and Monday.com. Awesome. In order of similarity, we have Monday.com, ClickUp, Smartsheet, Trello. Awesome. Brex competitors, Nevin, Ramp, Airbase, Bills, Spend and Expense. Please, oh, okay, these are all great, great uh, competitors. Office locations, Salesforce. And all I did here was prompted to just say, how many locations does this company have? Salesforce has multiple locations. Airtable has locations all over the place. Gong has five office locations. Let's see. Walmart has 10,500 stores and clubs in 19 countries. Red Bull has 172 locations. Amazing. Look at all of this research done. Now, this is a product check. And I just basically asked it. 
What does this company sell as a product or service in under 10 words? Airtable sells the next gen app building platform and connected data services. Yep. Clay.com provides data collection and automation services. Yep. Oh, I put clay.com two times. That's crazy. Gong.io sells a revenue intelligence platform. Perfect. Liquid Death sells canned water. ENA Gymnastics offers gymnastics classes. Uh, Pella sells medical products and services in complement science. Excellent. Who are the investors? Boom. We have investors. Excellent. Oh, wow. Y Combinator got into Brex. Good for them. Uh, remote work. Do they allow for remote work? Yes, 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 yes. Maybe not. Does not provide information. It is unlikely that Kathy Matisse allows for remote work. Yes, yes, it is. 10K checks. Everybody asks about these. Specifically here, I said, does this company mention diversity hiring requirements on their 10K? So we go to Salesforce. The relevant sources indicate that Salesforce.com mentions diversity recruiting and hiring requirements, but it's not specified whether this information is included in the 10K report. So they didn't mention it on their 10K, but it is mentioned across their website, which is great. So let's check this out. Nope, that's 2013. That's an old one. Let's see this one. 2016, that's an old one. Let's check this out. 2022. And let's just go diversity and inclusion initiatives. Ooh, hmm, we got to work on that. This is why it's in beta. That's totally fine. Cool. Mergers and acquisitions. Here, I was basically asking, is this a company that owns multiple companies or is it a company that is owned by, or that is, I guess, an owner? Whoops, I mistyped that. Salesforce.com is a company that owns multiple companies. Clay.com, it was acquired by Salters and... Oh, that must be old. This is old Crunchbase information for who used to own Clay.com. Twilio is a company that owns multiple companies. Walmart is primarily owned by the Walton family and the descendants of founder Sam Walton. Uh, it does not have to be owned. Yep, that's true. ENA Gymnastics. Uh, yep, that's true. Yep. Videos on site. I literally just asked it. Does this company have videos on their front page? And yes, there are videos on salesforce.com. And I guess we can check that. Um, let's see. Braze. Yes, they do have videos on their website. Boom. Here's the video on Braze. And then this one was like off the wall. This one I shouldn't have really worked. I just asked it, can you find the LinkedIn URL of the person who would be in charge of hiring a new finance team member in the New York City office for this company website? Um, and so this is a shout out to all the staffing and recruiting companies that they want to know exactly who is the hiring manager. And so what I would do is I would create a dynamic uh, token here for like where the job is open. And then I would try to find the hiring manager there. But look, you know, this one cost. Uh, again, less than a penny. It's like 8,000 tokens for a penny. This costs less than 1,000 tokens for a penny. And this is a senior manager in finance at Breck in New York, according to their LinkedIn profile. Amazing. And so if you are someone who's looking to do you know, any kind of research that you kind of do over and over and again, the, the same exact way, this is a great way to do it. One thing that I didn't show here that does really, really well is like finding the owners of local businesses that you usually have to go to the website and manually find. ENA Gymnastics, I particularly put them in here because it's a local business and Craig Zappa's name was mentioned in multiple places, knowing that he's the owner and the co-owner uh, and things like that. And so uh, it could be used for that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm really excited about this one. I think everybody should give it a shot, but it is in beta right now. So I'm not sure how many people are going to let in because again, I don't work there anymore, but I hope you enjoy this video and you get as excited as I am about this.